May the divine protection of God, who reigns in the heavens, surround and guard your life. Repeat with me, strengthening your faith. Every day, divine blessings will flow abundantly in my journey, transforming what was destined to fail into triumph. Now, repeat with conviction. This day will be filled with positive news, as the grace of the Lord will pour upon me in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. As I repeat these words, I declare not only for myself, but also for you. At this moment, I undo and break any negative influence that may linger over you, your home, and your family. May the divine light illuminate your path. Amen. Today, upon waking up, I received a serious and important message from the Holy Spirit to deliver to you, child of God, who has a broken heart and believes in the power of prayer and spiritual matters. I will pray for you and need to convey a very serious message. When I speak with you and begin to deliver it, you may recall some people who need prayer and guidance. They need to be taught, and I know you will be the person to guide them. Amen. Leave your prayer requests now so I can include them in my prayer this morning on this day for your life. Leave your requests here. If you are entering here for the first time, may God bless you. May God protect you. It's not about religion. It's about God. I have the Word of God open before me, and it is on it that I speak. I am here to deliver God's messages and pray for His children. In addition to the prayer I will offer for you now, if you want me to pray for your life and present your name to God whenever you come here, look down. You will see the word subscribe. Just click on it. It's free. YouTube already has your name. When you click subscribe, enter your name. In this prayer chain, it will be a blessing because I will pray for you every day. When things start going well, you will remember that it is the prayers that bless our lives and they will reach your phone. Okay, good. Now, I ask all my sheep to click on the like symbol. This is a sign we send to YouTube to let them know that what I say here is not bad or disrespectful. This way, other people will know about this great prayer chain. Amen. Amen. You who are here with me now, before delivering this powerful verse and spiritual guidance, I ask that you share it with three people now. These are three people you know are not part of this prayer chain. When they join here, I will talk about something very important. There are people stumbling at this point I will talk about. I will open their eyes, and if they don't understand, their lives will continue to spin in circles, without progress, sometimes even regressing. Prepare a glass of water. I will place mine here, ready near me when we are praying. This water will be consecrated and blessed by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There are people sabotaging themselves from the beginning of the day. It's not even the enemy hindering their lives. It's themselves. There's a secret, a spiritual law that speaks about power. It's not a force. It's the power that exists in words. I want to show you something very powerful. The Bible doesn't just say that words have strength. It says the words that come out of our mouths have power. If people understood that what we say creates our reality, they can be sure of it. Something interesting and serious is that the spiritual world cannot differentiate. There are no people saying this, but I was joking. The spiritual world cannot identify if you are speaking seriously, in jest, or in anger. The spiritual world understands that what you say will become reality, whether it's something good or bad. When I wake up, that's how I do it. When I come to pray, the first words I say are, my day today will be a blessing. I say this phrase so often that even things that were going wrong will turn out well because I know the power that exists in words. When a person understands, their vision opens to spiritual things. They know they can't speak words of curse, not even in jest or anger, because words have power. A person who wakes up in the morning and says, my life is going wrong, is cursing themselves. 
What do you think will happen? The spiritual world will make things even worse because words have power. A person says, everyone is happy in their love lives, but I have no luck with anyone. What do you think will happen to that person? They will only attract people who won't work out, even worse than before, because they are casting their words into the spiritual world. Words are like seeds. You cast into the spiritual world, which is the field. You cast a word, and you can be sure that, at some point, those words will start to manifest, both for good and bad things. The Lord Jesus said, Watch and pray. It's useless for a person to pray if they don't guard their words. If they open their mouth and speak words of curse or bad things about their children, they are cursing their own children. You will never get anywhere in life with that kind of words. Proverbs 18, 20. Let's see what the Word of God says. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Note that the Bible is not saying strength. We are talking about power. Words have power. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat its fruit. We must know how to use the power of our words well. Wake up in the morning already being a blessing and blessing others. My children are blessed. If you have a spouse, my spouse is a blessing. My marriage is a blessing. Today, my day will be filled with prosperity. Today, many good things will happen in my life. You start the day praying and using the power that exists in words to ward off all the bad things that might be around you, that might be over your life. You start the day praying. You start the day prophesying words of blessing. It's not magic. It's something spiritual. You will begin to see good things happen because you are calling them into reality through your words. Understand this. Do you know someone who constantly complains? Do you know someone who always complains about life? Oh, I want to prosper. I want to prosper. I want to prosper. But they don't understand. They are not grateful for what they have. That's why they lose. Because if you are not grateful for what you have, God will never give you what you don't have. The Word of God said that when the Lord Jesus was in the desert, He asked the disciples if anyone had food. The disciples said, there was only a young man with five loaves and two fish. But what is that? It's nothing. The Lord Jesus asked for those five loaves and two fish. When he received them, he lifted them to the heavens and thanked. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. What the disciples belittled, Jesus Christ thanked and multiplied. Do you understand the difference? While there are people belittling or wishing for prosperity, when a person has a home, a job, they know how to appreciate. That's why I rarely enter their lives, even in small things. They say, thank you, Lord. They start to be grateful and use their words to bless what they already have. There will be a great multiplication of blessings in their lives because they have learned to use the power of words. Do you understand? take responsibility? You will never find in the Word of God, from Genesis to Revelation, tearing someone down. You will never find in the Bible the Word of God using words to make you sad or discouraged. On the contrary, it wakes you up. You who sleep, I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The door God opens, no one can shut. If God is with us, who can be against us? Look at the words the Bible releases about our lives. They are only words of blessing. Our mouths, your mouths, must be mouths and lips of someone spiritual who understands the power of words. Our mouths cannot spew curses, only blessings. Believe in blessings, believe in blessings, believe take responsibility. Look at what the psalmist David said. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Hallelujah. Words have power. Start your day praying and blessing yourself, blessing your home, and also blessing your family. Glory to God. Take responsibility. 
Let's pray, and in this prayer, I want to declare all kinds of blessings and victories, and you will receive them too. Amen. Amen. Those who have just entered here and are here for the first time, receive my greetings and the greetings of all who participate in this great prayer chain. If you want to leave your name written for all the prayers I will do here that I do daily, click here below on the word subscribe. Your name will be written in this great prayer chain, written and registered. Amen. My glass of water is here. Prepare yours. Let's pray now. I will play the background prayer music. Hallelujah. Our Lord God and beloved Father, I believe and declare that this day, my God, will be a blessing. This day, my God, will be very blessed. Even things that were supposed to go wrong will go well. My God, I ask that your light, your blessing, your anointing guide the life of your daughter, guide the life of your son. I declare, my Father, that everything she does, everything he does, will succeed in this moment of prayer. May all the enemy's attacks against the life of your daughter, against the life of your son, fall to the ground. May everything that was forming around the life of your daughter, of your son, everything that represents bad news, illnesses, evils, curses that were forming around your children, may it all fall to the ground at this moment. May it retreat. May it retreat. May it not prevail in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your hands, prophesy over your body, receive it. Take responsibility. I prophesy happiness in your love life. I prophesy that all your plans will succeed. I prophesy that in your home, there will be the peace of the Lord, the peace of God. Your home will be a home of abundance, blessing, and prosperity. I prophesy that in anything you lay your hands on, even things that were supposed to go wrong will go well. I prophesy that in the coming days, good news will come to your ears. I say I believe. I receive this prayer. I take responsibility. Hallelujah. Pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give thanks to God. Hallelujah. May there only be blessings and victories in your home and in the environment where you find yourself as you receive this prayer. May your home be blessed, illuminated, guarded, and protected, dear she. I conclude this simple prayer with a heart brimming with gratitude, confident that our supplications have reached divine ears. May sacred protection envelop us. May serenity rule our hearts, and may the brightness of love and hope illuminate the paths of our lives. So be it. Be it. I share this special moment with you and invite you to extend this prayer to seven dear hearts, as the number seven in our Christian faith symbolizes fullness, perfection, and divine action. By sharing with seven people, we multiply the blessings and strengthen the bonds of love and faith. I appreciate if you felt the divine presence in this prayer by leaving a like, and I also encourage you to subscribe to the channel, as this will significantly contribute to the spread of spiritual light. United in faith, let us continue walking together on this blessed path. Amen.